might be some blood. There's a good amount of blood coming out of Holgeen, Holgeen's nose. Will the uh, will they go over and take a look at him when there's that much blood coming out, or will they let their corner just kind of take care of him? Uh, the trainer came over and put something in his nose, try to at least clot it so that he could fight again. And if the trainer thinks it's too bad, he'll call the referee over and he'll tell him, you know, this this fight needs to be stopped. But so far, it doesn't look like the the referee is going to be going over there. He's concerned, but it doesn't look like he's going to be stopping this fight, at least not yet. And we can see on the board them working. Now they're going to... When you've got that much blood coming out, if uh, if they can't get the blood bleeding to stop, do you get a little extra time here between uh, between rounds? If they can't stop the bleeding, they'll usually stop it, the fight. But it's usually indicative of something a little bit worse. All right, we are set for round number three, and that, that second round definitely was won by Vorobiov. We'll see what he does if he tries to continue to work on that face of Holgin, and it looks like he is. He's going in at him. All of Dennis's punches are being thrown with some real bad intent right now. Um, he might even switch up his stance. Sometimes he goes southpaw. He's ambidextrous, and he could confuse a uh, whole game by doing that. So we'll see what he does. Holgeen will get a will get a spurt, but Barobiov has been the one more consistent. He's trying to really he really tried to land a punch there just a moment ago. Now Holgeen's backing up. Barobiov goes into the midsection. You can hear it from over here, and now tries to land a big punch. And The officials keeping a very close eye on what's going on. There's another shot to the midsection. Now he goes back up top. Robioff continuing to do a good job. Robioff going to the side of the head. Maybe trying to set something up. Hogan is keeping those gloves up, trying to protect his face, but. That's opening up a couple body shots for Vorobiov. Now Holguin comes back, but big shots by Vorobiov, and the official's going to give another eight count after that big hit. Vorobiov kind of baited him there. He let him hit him a little bit and then came back and hit him pretty hard. A lot of blood coming from Holguin. But Holguin fights out, and he the, the crowd appreciates the effort. Even if Vorobiov is getting him pretty good right now, and... Holguin's trying to get away. Vorobiov's really coming at him. And we'll see if this thing goes off. There's only 10 seconds left. The fish is not going to stop at this point. But if this was about 30 seconds ago, he probably would have. And that's it. And that's an impressive performance from Vorobiov. Wow. The senior will be moving on to represent the United States Air Force Academy again if you're just now getting uh, tuned in to our broadcast here on the Mountain West Network and at GoAirForceFalcons.com March 13th through 15th